of the newer features in Google Forms is the ability to validate answers before they're submitted. Um, when you go through in a form and you make required questions, as long as anything is in the box, it will accept it. Let me show you an example. So view live form. Student's last name, no. Class period, no. Email address, no. Question, no. These are all required questions and as you can tell, I have not answered any of these questions. But I can still submit my response. You can't make this perfect, but you can take out some of the um, ability for people to kind of get around not answering the question or not answering the question correctly. So for example, if I went to class period, um, obviously I want the kids to type in a number that's between one and six. I can come down here to data validation, check this on, and say I want a number, and then I can choose any sort of options. So I can say that it has to be greater than, less than, equal to, and I'm going to say between periods that have one and six. Now if they enter a number or text that is not numbers one through six, they would get an error message. And I can type in that I want that to say please Please enter a number between 1 and 6. Now this might be extremely helpful in math class if you are asking students to enter numbers and you want them all to be whole numbers or you know that the answer is greater than 100 um, or between some numbers. This might give students some, um, you know, some, some formative feedback where they can have another option or another opportunity to go in and answer this question. Um, you can do the same thing with like an email address. So if I wanted to validate that this is actually an email address, I can select text contains email address. Now it's not going to check to make sure that the email address is valid, but it would make sure that it was like someone at mail.org. If that if it's not in the classic email format, then it would not be accepted. So your custom error text could be, please enter a valid email. Um, you also could have the text contains a certain um, word. So if it's an email address and you wanted to make sure it was at FCBOE2, um, a lot of the times when kids submit their email addresses, they submit it incorrectly. Like they think that it's their last name dot first name at fcboe.com or fcboe um, to. So if you wanted to really make sure that the kids were submitting their proper email address, you could include at fcboe2.org and then that would take out um, the possibility that they would enter it incorrectly and you could put something about that in your help text. So there are tons of options where this um, this validating of answers comes in that you could do. You can have a regular expression um, and that matches, you know, you could do any kind of series of words or anything like that. Um, and so I'd like for you to go in and play with this and your assignment is to have on your form one question where you have done some sort of data validation. And here's how you're going to identify that for me. In the help text, you're going to write validate, validate answer. And then you're going to just um, either, you can leave it at that if it's clear what type of question you're, you're looking for, or you can give me some sort of help text. But what I'm going to do when you send out the form, because I'm going to be filling in your form, on this question I'm going to try to make sure that it won't let me submit. So if you ask for an email address and underneath that you said validate answer, I'm going to go in and you know maybe type no or yes and see if it works. Um, and that's how I'm going to make sure you have completed this step. So um, that's your assignment. One question in your form needs to have some sort of data validation. In the help text, write that you just validated the answer and I will um, double check that one to make sure that it works properly. If you have questions, you can email me.